What up Alpha? It's Amir. Today we're speaking beards. Now beards, some of us are just naturally genetically blessed with while others struggle to grow a beard and they walk around in their 30s looking like they're 14. Well don't worry because today I'm here to help you solve this problem and give you a proper solution to this and I'm going to give you some tips that will help you grow out your beard in just under 30 days. So what the hell are we waiting for? Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Alright, tip number one. Now this tip is the most important tip, that's why I'm putting it first. And if you don't follow this tip, none of the other stuff that I'm going to tell you is going to work. If you follow just this one tip, you are guaranteed to have some sort of facial hair on your face. And if you don't follow this, then you're going to look like a baby. And that tip is don't touch your facial hair. It doesn't matter if you just have a little goatee, it doesn't have to be if you're just growing one single strand of hair, it doesn't matter. Let it grow. If you let your beard hair grow, that is the first step that you can do in order to start growing more facial hair because once you have something to work with, then you can further enhance it by doing other things to make that hair thicker and make your lines connect and potentially grow more hair on your face. So my first and foremost tip for you is to simply not shave it and let it grow. All right, now that you are letting your beard grow and you are a few days into your beard growth journey, I want you to start practicing some of these habits every single day. Well, this one that I'm gonna tell you, I want you to practice two to three times a week at least. And that is exfoliate your skin. What exfoliating your skin will do is that you will remove all the dead skin cells on your face because those dead skin cells on your face are just an extra thing your skin has to worry about before it can grow new hair. So if you remove them, it will be much more easier for your hair to be growing and additionally, when you are exfoliating it, the motion of just you doing this is gonna stimulate blood circulation which again, helps with hair growth. Speaking of exfoliating, if you want thick facial hair, you need to develop a skincare routine. A good skincare routine will not only help your skin glow and prevent acne and all that good stuff, but it will also help keep your pores clean. And again, when your pores are clean, your face is able to better grow some of that hair out. So if you need help with developing a basic skincare routine, I did a video on that, so be sure to check that out if you don't have a skincare routine just yet. And with that being said, a bonus tip that I would like to give is that with your skincare routine, you're going to be having to use a moisturizer. If you're going to be using a moisturizer, make sure your moisturizer has eucalyptus because eucalyptus also helps with hair growth. That's just a pro tip that I have for you guys. All right, next up, we're getting into the real stuff. Um, start taking biotin. This right here is biotin. It's a dietary supplement that you take and it's supposed to help with hair growth, not just on your beard, but all over the place. I've taken biotin myself and hair was literally growing all over the place. And my beard, oh my God, like I had such a huge impact. My beard was like already thick, but after taking biotin for my hair, it had a huge impact on how long and how fast my beard was growing. So if you're serious about growing your beard, be sure to take biotin because it will definitely, definitely help you. And next up, if you want to grow a thick beard, your thick beard will grow when you sleep. That's right, you need to get plenty of rest. Here's the thing, man, when you're not getting enough rest, it not only takes a heavy toll on your mind, but it also takes a heavy toll on your body. And the way that your cellular reproduction system happens and all that good stuff, it takes a huge toll on that. Lack of sleep will not only stress you out, which is a leading cause to gray hair and balding areas, but it will also not let your cellular reproduction system to happen properly, which will most definitely result in you not growing hair. So get at least six to eight hours of sleep because when you sleep, it will help repair some of those damaged skin cells, which in turn will result in more hair growth. Now again, so far you might think that all of these tips are obvious, but I know some of these things are definitely overlooked. And if you are serious about growing your beard, it's always just the little things that you do every single day, that little push you give, and these habits accumulate to you achieving your desired outcome, which is, in this case, your beard. So yeah, if you're doing all of these things that I'm telling you right now, you would have noticed a significant increase on in your hair, especially around week three or so. And you will have noticed that your hair is coming in and you are getting more beard hair than ever before, especially if you're doing things right and taking this bad boy right here. But in order to make sure that our beards connect and they grow thick and full, what do we need to do? We have to nourish our beards, which is exactly where this guy comes in handy. You know what this is? This is beard oil. 
so it doesn't matter if you have hair or not but as long as you're stimulating that area of your skin with beard oil blood circulation will definitely take place which will result in your beard growing so if you want to grow a beard and don't have one yet just still apply beard oil in that area because it will still help grow some of that hair out when your skin is nourished when it's at ease and when um, there's nothing blocking its way it's able to produce more hair and it is actually scientifically proven that by using beard oil your beard will grow two to six times faster than it would if you just never used the beard oil and if you need help picking out the right kind of beard oil I'll actually link some of them in the description below which are actually meant for beard growth so definitely be sure to check that out and last but certainly not the least have a well-balanced diet and stay hydrated it is as simple as that. Avoid eating junk food and stuff that is high in saturated fats. Instead, replace your foods by eating foods that are high in protein. Because what protein does is just like it helps grow muscle, it will also help grow hair. And if you eat foods high in protein, it will definitely result in more hair growth because protein just repairs everything and helps stuff grow. Just, uh, just to put it in simple terms. Start incorporating more green foods into your diet because green foods will help provide some of those natural vitamins and by having a well-maintained diet, it will not only help you feel good about yourself and have a nice body and especially if you're working on eating a lot of protein, it will help you get some of those gains but it will also help you grow some of that hair out on top and grow beards and grow like hair everywhere and anywhere you want. But right now we're particularly focusing on beards which it will most definitely help with. And most importantly, stay hydrated. Our body is 60% water. Now if we feed it more what it's made of, it's gonna result in more blood circulation. And again, as we've learned so far, better the blood circulating in your body, the better the hair growth. And the better we will be overall when it comes to just being healthy as a human being. So have plenty of water, have a well-balanced diet and do all of these things that I told you and you will grow a beard in no time. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found some value out of it. And let me know in the comment section below what have you guys tried in the past to grow your beard, how your beard is currently looking or any other questions you have regarding whatever life, beard, grooming, whatever it is, drop it in the comment section below because I'll be more than happy to answer that question for you. And if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. Other than that, thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.